Uh, three, two, one, and the uh, intro's going. Intro fucking over yet? We're live now. You're live. Primed and ready to go. Who chose the Valdi? Who chose? Who said Coughlin's on? We're live and Valdi. That will go with him. <laughs> Needless to say, ladies and gentlemen of the higher class, I must warn you preemptively: this show will contain the word "fuck" a lot. As both a so verb and adjective and a noun. And a verb. Mm. Fuck off, you fucking fucker. May appear at some point in the, in the show. It will be vulgar, it will be offensive. We will most likely talk about these ass cunts and body parts that you really don't want to know about. Nonetheless, donate money! Okay, thanks. Yes. I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to be honest. I, I agreed to do this show six weeks ago. And I even, I tweeted it out, I even uploaded the trailer for it, like, two days ago, and someone asked me yesterday, like, what's a charity, and I honestly didn't have a fucking clue, because I hadn't paid any, I just sort of agreed to do these things, and, and someone said it was homelessness, and I figured that's why I've been invited, because I'm sort of like, I look homeless enough, sort of be in, I could endorse it for you, and um, so that was, uh, but I honestly, you know, so help, help people who are out homeless, that's what we're here, apparently. Yes. Yeah. Uh, precise. Yes, yes. So, Coughlin. Hello. Hi. I'm going to try to remain professional here. Right, well, I'm, I'm not. That's your problem. Yeah, it is a problem. But it's quite difficult. So, when did you become an atheist? When did I become an atheist? Oh, uh, many... Oh, God. I... 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 I, I hate questions. Because I... I <laughs> no, not like that. Because... I didn't become an atheist. I, I, I've never, I've been religious. Never. Well, actually, obviously, what by atheist do you mean secret Muslim? Obviously, is what you mean. <laughs> or if I'm doing a video about Holocaust deniers, Jew is the other one I get. Um, but yeah, I, I, I never became an atheist. I just, I, I wasn't brought up with it, and and that's it. But people always ask, like, you know, there's those videos, you know, that the series of videos on YouTube years ago with people saying, you know, why I'm an atheist, and. I think the only real answer is you happen to have lived the life that you did and that led you to be the person who you are. And you could have easily been born, it's not because you're special or nothing, you could have easily been born to a family of fucking loony Mormons down the corner and you'd be there wearing magic underpants every, every week, you know, so it, it's, just, it's just a matter of like that's how I grew up. I was never really religious. I read the Bible very early on. That I, was a, I was a very lonely child, <laughs> so that's why I ended up reading it because I was bored. But, um, well, okay. Uh, to, I guess to clarify the nom, um, when did you sort of affiliate yourself with being an atheist? Like, I, did actually, you I actually didn't. Like, I, I like, never at any point. I never at any point said I'm here. I've never been like this. You, the YouTube atheist community. I I always hated the concept of their being because you, you've got you've got atheist. The one thing Richard Dawkins has been very wrong about. I disagree with. Here I am, stirring up drama already with Dawkins. But the one thing is, is he says that thing about you know, um, getting atheists to work together is like herding cats. That, that's bollocks. But I've got a YouTube channel with 25,000 subs. I could make a video making up absolute horseshit about somebody and, and then link that, and then people would bombard them without it. They would, everyone's uh, herd mentality is not special in religious. It's just, it's not really re associated with atheists because atheists aren't a group and there's not many of them. Um, well, I just always, I found religion always, I always found religion fascinating and I like talking about it because um, I thought it was, I thought it was, I liked, I liked the Bible in the sense that I liked the story of Jesus. Uh, you know, because I, mean, I, I sort of saw him 
as a character, as like a sort of, he was like an, he was like the original, you know, uh, revolutionary, the an, an anarchist. He was going around, you know, pissing people off, and everyone likes that, you know. And so, but you know, the, the whole idea of like, you know, he, he made, you know, fish for five thousand people. Actually, his that story, two fish fed five thousand. They were probably like giant sharks or something like that, and they didn't like. That's how he got enough meat out of them, or stuff like that. Just, 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 just these little stories. Like, I can't believe the newspapers that were written yesterday about the news that happened on the planet Earth yesterday. That, you know, in my life, I can't believe a book that's 2,000 years old that tells me there's a guy there who can walk on water, you know. So I never believed the sort of magic element of it, but I, the character of Jesus, and I'm saying character, um, was, it was interesting. But yeah, I never, I was never into it, and I never believed it. I just found it fascinating. All right. Um, how did you start making videos on YouTube? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, well, in order to be on YouTube as a video maker, you first of all have to be about. You can't be more than fifty percent there. In the, there has to be some exposure. Um, you can see this by just looking at the people who make videos. There's a problem. You know, um, anyone who I, I, seems normal to me is theoretical bullshit. Who is just far too good looking to be as intelligent as he is. Um, I hate that man. So, uh, but every one of them's got something wrong with them, right? That's how you end up on the internet, because the internet is like the last salvation of a human being to find a place to fit in. Because if you can't fit in on the internet, then you're, you're fucked, basically. You just might as well go and live under a rock. So, I ended up, and I was really late on the internet, because I'm, I'm a bit of a technophobe. I take a long time to get into things like computers and, uh, and, and mobile phones. I didn't have a mobile phone since I was 25. I didn't have a computer until I was 26, and then I got the internet, and I was, originally, I did the Edinburgh Festival um, in the month of August in 2006 and 2007, and in 2008 I wasn't doing it, and so I was bored, and I've been watching YouTube uh, for about a year and a bit, and I've discovered all these videos of people having arguments, and, you know, and, you know, shouting at each other, and, you know, I like shouting at people and telling them they're wrong, it's, it's, a, it's one of my favourite hobbies, so when... I, saw, I thought, I'll have a go at this. So I started uploading videos, and it was really good. I just thought it was fun. And then it, it took, after a couple of months, it just sort of became a really good way for me to sort of, you know, to come up with new ideas, to work on stuff, to, to sort of create material and stuff out of my own, on my own back without any sort of pressure. And, um, and I could sort of link it. I could sort of do my stand-up, um, and I could do YouTube as well, and keep them separate and put them together whenever I want. And also, I just love, I love nutters. You know, I, I, I disagree with these atheists who say they want to, you know, they want people to be as rational as possible and they want everyone to be logical and rich. No, 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 we don't want nothing to moan about. We need, you need to have a certain element of nutter there. There needs to be some nutters there. Otherwise, we're just going to sit around being bored, being smug about the fact that we're all great. So, you know, you need, I, I like to just sort of find these people who just believe the most you know, wax out not the stupid shit you've ever heard in your life, like the people who believe lizards from, the, you know, outer space control the planet, and, you know, and that's, that's brilliant, you know, and just things like that, I can, I can get, I can have fun with that, but... Speaking of nutters, who, who, who's your favourite nutter? Well, I'm sort of like, you know, nutters on YouTube, I'm like them, I'm like the mecca of, um, I became this sort of like, tractor beam for people with... A pineapple for a brain. I mean, it's quite obvious that I was like very keen on engaging, not engaging with them, just sort of like watching their videos with my mouth open. And I remember one of the first, I think the first video I did to a sort of that was was Yoke Up. I don't know if he's still around Yoke Up, but he, he like he was a fundamentalist Christian, and he uh, he made a video to me saying that I had a demon inside my soul, and that. You know, and he was, he was all making videos about gays. They need to release their gaze, you know, un unleash their gaze. And I'm like, it's just, it's just it, people like this are just insane. And his wife was like an ex-lesbian who ended up in a town with only other, two other people who were probably both related to each other. But it, it was one of my first ones. And then I found like another, I found all these, it's just sort of like, you find one, it's like sort of, it's just a cat snowball effect to each other's videos. So you find one, and then never be more will follow. And then because I got a reputation for making videos addressing nutters, people would send me, they'd seek out nutters for me. And then send me, they'd go, look at this guy, he's, he's, he's fucking mental. He, like, you know, he thinks his socks are you know, in charge of his you know, ears or whatever. And, and it just went on from there. 
And um, I, don't, I try to avoid it a bit more now, a bit now, because it's just it, it drags you down. There's only so much you can take before you sort of start losing faith in humanity. Um, I think Gorilla One Nine Nine is probably my favourite, just because of the dedication he has put into to, you know, to trying to fuck to fuck with me. He's like he's made he's made, he's made a website after my name, coffin 6com on which he claims that I am actually a murdering rapist pedophile ex nazi And he's got all he put he put pictures of my house up there, he put my phone number up there. It was it was brilliant. He just he claimed to have sex tape with my girlfriend who I was with at the time. He just he's just he doesn't care and you know and he's he's bless him, you know, for that. Because <laughs> I know it's taking is the sex tape in um uh, is it in like night vision or Sorry, what was that? I was just wondering if the sex tape is in night vision. If it there is, is no se- well, there's no sex tape that I know of because I, you know, I don't want people to realise how bad I am, so I don't want a fucking permanent record of it. Um, and you know, it's just it's not worth the fucking it's not worth the camera or the waste of you know RAM to to sort of just to just load up a video of me. Who wants to see my white spotty ass bouncing up and down in the air? It's just not necessary. But yeah, I don't think the sex tape is real because it was supposed to be out four days ago. Oh. Hello. Uh, sorry, we've lost a maximum there. So yeah, uh, the maximum seems to have lost his connection. Hello. Yeah, this is how um, uh, you're speaking to the tech guy here. Uh, we've, oh, uh, uh, we've seen. Live still. Yeah, you're still broadcasting oh, live. We've lost the other guy. He's holding me back anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All I think you got to donate. We'll take this time. We'll take a brief break from this. An insightful discussion to tell you about the homeless. I think why you should support the homeless. I went for a period in my life where I would only date homeless women because it was easier to get them to stay the night. And you, when you fuck them, you can drop them off anywhere. So it's important yeah. right, that we help these people, right? Okay. There you go. There's some people complaining already. Um, got, I can't even see the blog TV. I haven't got that on because my netbook would crash if I. Oh, it's yeah. Proud. I think. Where's he going? Oh, we've lost him. He's on Parkinson. You know, just Michael Parkinson just fucking beats up somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> just passes out. And just crashes. Yeah, he just has a mental he's breakdown. Hamid Ali there to have a fucking conversation with himself. You know. I think we've got him back, Maxman. Max. Why are, why are all the why right, that's it? I'm leaving. <laughs> Maxman, where are you going? I'm. You know, I'm not, I want my check in the post because this is totally unprofessional. Yep. <laughs> Are people actually, what are people saying in the chat? Because I can't see it. Uh, yeah, probably calling me a wank. Yeah, there's all that kind of going on. There's someone wanting you to give them money and all that. Well, they, they, they put me on after the philosophers, right? You've got a bunch of people whose job it is to think, and you've put me after them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone's saying you're a wanker now. The whole room. <laughs> I think it's great though, because I think it's great because you know this, show, this like uh, Jeff D, Lawrence Krauss, Michael Shermer, these guys, uh, you know, they must be so excited to be on the same bill as me. I bet they yeah. couldn't fucking believe it. They were like, they looked at the lineup and they were like, the Dick Coughlin, the real him, right? We, we, this is their moment, right? This is where their careers take off. The, the path to fame and fortune travels through me. Yeah, we still can't get to Max Money. I think he's run away now. Right, well. If you know, Simon dies during the set, Garth Uncle carries on. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try and get back and get in a room because then I can sort of see people. Right. To Max Man, are you there? <laughs> Look at me typing the fucking URL in. Who types the URL in? I know. To, to Max, man. We've lost everyone now. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Hi there. 
Is there anyone listening to me right now or have I gone on my own? Hello? Oh, hi. How nice of you to call me again. Yes. What the hell? What I've, is going on? I have no idea. You disappeared and we couldn't get you back and you're both back. Hello? You're both back, so I'm... You keep pan hammering my ass. Hello. It's okay if you kick me, but not now, man. I'm doing the whole interview thing, and I'm trying to fucking be okay. professional. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Well, I'll, I'm. Who have we lost now? Coughlin's gone now, because oh. I still got you. Okay, all right. Well, I got you, babe. Hello, Coughlin. Are you there? Ah, right. They're both back, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna duck out. Oh. Okay, what? Coughlin's there? I can't hear him. Coughlin? Are you there? <laughs> of course, we've lost him again. I know, the two of you are playing this game on me, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. One, one will disappear. Rolling with Skype. You teamed up with Michael Shermer to do all this to me, didn't you? Hello, Coughlin? Hello, Coughlin? Hello? Alright, they're back. Maxman, are you hey, there? Hey. Okay. Now he's okay. Alright, I'm, I'm out of here. Hey, you still there, dude? No, we've lost Coughlin again. Dude, I'm telling you, what the fuck is going I'm, on here? I'm not this doing anything. I'm fucking not doing anything here. It's a bunch of fucking nuts. He's controlling the Skype empire here, man. I'm, I am pissed off. Hey, I'm you're... coming down there with some fucking cheese. I'm going to stink everybody out of this shit. Holy shit, there's my face. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This... Oh, man. Oh, I think we've lost him again. Seriously, we gotta have technical difficulties during my segment of the fucking show. How am I supposed to get donations? By the way, people, donate money. Donate, donate money. This is why we operate on such a low budget, okay? Because we've got no fucking money. <laughs> donate to the homeless. We won't get it. We, our, our quality of show won't improve. But nonetheless, just donate, please. Fuck. No, we've lost him again. <laughs> He's gone totally. No, that's what happened to me, man. You kept calling me back and it kept kicking my ass off. Well. You know what it is? We need more racial diversity. We need black people and like Hispanics and yeah. Latinos and shit like that on here, man. Yeah, more of a... Yeah, more white genocide going on. Serious, we got too much fucking Caucasian. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Coughlin. Hey! Opa. Hey, that was, that was totally planned. Did you think that you think that was real? That was we said before the show. Like, let's have let's have a power cut. Let's have a fucking power cut. Cut the fuck. They'll think it's men. It'll be like Andy Kaufman. It'll think it'll think it's fucking mental, right? Yeah, nobody nobody will ever suspect. Let's face it. Look at the screen on Blog TV. The quality of show here. We might as well be doing this in fucking tapestry at this stage, right? <laughs> <laughs> This is an avatar or a fucking Coe Brothers film. This is like three, three bloke. This is three blokes talking. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah. Okay. You're still there. This is a, this is essentially what everyone needs to realise. Like anyone who thinks that people on YouTube or whoever are special, we're not. It, whatever it is, it's a, it, it, it's some wanker. It's some wanker talking to himself on a camera. Right. That's it. There's nothing else to it. Oh, God. oh, for fuck's sakes, really? <laughs> Fuck off! It worked. Alright, cool. Hey, we got we got you on webcam now. Hello. Hi, I mean, how's it going, sexy? I didn't agree to be on fucking film. <laughs> so turn it off, then. <laughs> I didn't fucking turn it on for you. I fucking came on it, so I can't see the chat now. Um, cause I, 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 it's just gone away now, so... It's a blog TV chat, so I know 99% of it's bollocks, you know what I mean? It's, it's not going to be of any interest whatsoever. Okay, well, sh uh, shall, we, shall we move on with the question? Shall we Hello? try to remain professional? Hi, how's it going? No, I, don't, I think at this stage, this is like some bloke saying, you know, shall we put some plasticine over the hole in the Titanic? <laughs> we, there's no need anymore. It's like we've, we've gone beyond the pale of... Uh, of what is actually necessary, you know, to be professional. We've we've crossed that point of no return. 
That actually no, is a good they, analogy. I, I quite feel I think, at this point, I this think ridiculous we should try as hard as possible. Like it sank. I think we should try as hard as possible to be as unprofessional as possible. Because I, I, you know, Lawrence Krauss is going to have a fucking shit song trying to follow this, right, with his science and you know discussions about fucking facts and interesting stuff. You know, what people want is like us talking about wanking and having a shit. This is all it is, really. Speaking Why of wanking and shit. No, let's not, let's not go there at all. Keep refreshing no. for no reason. What, are, are yeah. you actually... How is the blog TV going? Are these people... Are, <laughs> are you guys having a good time now? <laughs> At the expense of our dignity, technical connections, and sanity? <laughs> Alright, Lundy's loving it, so... Yeah, someone's going to enjoy this. Oh, here hey, we go. Dude, did you drop Coughlin again? He's not talking. I, I didn't. The fact I've, I haven't dropped any. Five seconds indicates he's not online. Oh, he is now. Hello? What? Yeah, he's. No, he's not. <laughs> Jesus Christ is responsible for this. <laughs> Who Hello. knew that Jesus was a lead hacks or. Yep. Up? Oh, he's totally um, going. We, okay, well, you know, I'm going to take this opportunity to please, I'm going to beg. Okay, actually, why the hell isn't my webcam working? Like, oh, there we go. I should probably turn it on. That might help. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to watch the blog TV. I'm going to wait till I can actually see my ugly mug on the blog TV. And yeah, there we go. Okay, hi people. Listen. Please. Donate money. The homeless need it. We don't cuz we have webcams. But the homeless do. And it's for a good cause. Most importantly, it's atheists. Let, 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 let show these fucking Christian bastards that their stupid ah, 3 a.m. commercials are bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck them. They can't raise money because they're just going to steal it and build the fucking church out of it anyway. The money we're raising here actually goes towards the homeless. And it's not like, I, here, I, have a plate I, of spaghetti I, and come to our church. Actually I'm, fucking I'm, donate. I'm the like point out the money also goes to funding my travel expenses, right? I, I'm doing this from my own house, which I came here tonight on you know, by helicopter. So that's got to be, you got to take care of the talent, yeah. On my knees, you Canadian, pr I'll tell you what, for the sake of this charity, I'm going to fucking do it. I don't know if it'll fit in the webcam, but I'm going to go, hang on, give me a second. In many ways, this is the greatest show ever, ever held anywhere, ever. I've, none of those are obvious at this stage, but in like, in the future, people will look back on this. Like, you know, and they'll go, yeah, that, that, that was the fucking fighting mode. There, your fucking ass better donate 20 bucks now. I just got on my knee. I don't do that shit for Jesus. Donate money. Okay, thanks. I need to smoke. I feel worn out. This is what, this is why I didn't want to be on camera, because I'm fucking, I'm very ill at the moment. And I actually look a lot worse than the people we're trying to help in the chat. Right? And that's... You, know, you can't have that, right? People would just think I've sort of won a competition as sort of, you know, some, you know, I've got to host the show as a homeless person. You know? I just can't have that. I look like shit most of the time. I look like shit for me now, which is like, it's just not, it's just not acceptable. Is he gone again? No, 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 no. I oh, there so. No, I think, yeah, no, sorry, I'm, I'm still here. Yeah, no, I was just recuperating over that whole getting down on my knees thing that took a while. I did try out. going into the chat, but it wouldn't load up and fuck them, right? No mm -hmm. offense, no offense audience, but fuck them, no. No, it's cool. Hey, speaking of no offense, do you think Revelation will occur on December 21st, 2012? Wouldn't it be, yeah, but the thing is, right, people laugh at them, right? right? People take the piss at the 2012s, but I... I'm, I don't, I think every, I think if you're, unless you're, you're completely sort of like a you know, robot, right, there's going to be a little bit of you, that as the clock approaches midnight, you're just going to be thinking, don't, please, for the love of, just don't start shaking, I don't want the ground to start rumbling, I'll, if this is real, I'm going to, I'm going to be wrong, and I look like a cunt, right, and there's nothing worse than that, so I think, you know, if it does, you know, a fair play to it, but at least I've got a date. I mean, I hate that. Like, at least they sort of got a bit of, you know, integrity there. They're, they're putting. Oh, at least. Uh, I don't know because, like, uh, uh, growing up, like, you know, 12 years ago, I heard that uh, the year 2000 was going to 
ultimately be the end of the world and whatnot, and I lived through that, and uh, I've lost the call with you, which what? really sucks, but nonetheless. Yeah, hi. Hey, there you go. You're back. You. Yeah, 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 I can hear you now. But yeah, the yeah, world, uh, like, the, the year 2000 was supposed to be, like, the demise of the world, and then there was, like, a year after that, what well, well, fucking didn't Pat Robertson predict another one, and it's just, like, I don't know, like, how many fucking end-of-the-world revelation years do these fucking people need? You know, like, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'll be, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I've lived through so many of these fucking revelation predictions that, that come 2012, December 1st, I'm really, I, I'm probably not even going to notice the date. Here's what you've got to remember, though, and this is something that, that, that's only happened recently. If you go on to, like, the sort of the biggest uh, websites for the people who believe the 2012 stuff, right, what they've done is very clever. They've actually said that the date is not actually that specific. It could occur, and they say this, uh, as much as 50 years either way. <laughs> Which well, is how obviously... It, it's exactly, almost as if they've been planning this since day one of Jesus. Exactly. Eh? It's like, well... Revelation will occur this century, probably. If not this century, within the next, I don't know, 10,000 years or so. The mistake Harold Camping made was he was still alive when his prediction was coming true, was, was supposed to occur. Right? And th these guys have picked a date where they're definitely going to be dead. So there's no way you're going to be able to like, hold them up to scrutiny over it. And, you know, and let's face it, you know, people, every day someone has predicted the world's going to fucking end, even if it's not some nutter who thinks it. What's the difference between these nutters who think that, you know, Jesus is going to come back and kill everyone on 2012, and the people who think that, you know, the people who think that the Jews are in charge of the entire planet, and they all have secret meetings and stuff like that, or that, you know, or the, the Muslims are all in a deep cabal, and they're all going to work together to sort of turn the Western, Western world into a caliphate. I mean, it's all just doomsday bollocks, isn't it? It's all the same stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and in fact, you posed a, a very valid point. In fact, that if somebody makes a prediction that occurs after they've died, if you dig them up to point your finger at them, I mean, essentially, then you look like the bad guy. And that's just trick, shitty. Well, the trick to it is you've got to do what Alex Jones does. Now, Alex Jones does a three-hour radio show every day. Right? There's so much bollocks in, in, in there that you can't, possibly, you can't possibly refute it all. He's going to be wrong on something. And so this is what you've got to do. You've just got to make sure... Conspiracy theories are like... I used to be a conspiracy theorist. That, to me, was the closest I got to being religious. Because it's basically the same thing. You're believing in these entities that aren't... Uh, that, that aren't provable. Of which the evidence will not be there. And it's all based on assumption and, you know, claims made by people who aren't qualified to make them. So it, that's where you... Saw, I, mean, I used to be a 9-11 truther. I used to be the moon landing was fake and all that. You know, and... Um, and it's because it's like there's a certain uh, anti-authoritarian, anti-establishment feel to conspiracy theories. But the problem is, no conspiracy theory has ever actually uh, become found out to be true. And any conspiracy that has actually happened was never predicted before it did. They all got found out afterwards. And that's the problem with, with these... Con Someone is going to get the end of the world date right. right? But it's only because they, uh, they had to eventually. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, I bet you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and predict that Christmas will occur on December 25th, 2012. Now, granted, this actually, this works in opposition to the current uh, way of thinking because you know the world's gonna end on the 21st. So if Chris, if I'm right, yeah. and I'm yeah, a loony, yeah. Christmas will actually fucking happen this year. Hello. Hi. He didn't walk in. What? Oh, jeez. Fucking Christ, we've lost him again. Zulu! Yes, band I'm here. <laughs> I haven't you gotta touched, love I that finger, man. Stop, stop the band hammer. What's going on there? I, 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 have, I have to say something. I have to say something. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear right. you. Say something. Hello? Hi. If you can hear me? Yep. Yeah. How's right. it going, you gorgeous creature? I have to say something now. In Medias Week... In Medias Week... Hello? In Medias We Trust has a massive cock, and he donated ten dollars to Atheist Help Homeless. So you should sub to his channel. There you go. He's now he's paid. He's paid us to say that. But it just so happens to be true. Just like the stories of him and that twelve-year-old. <laughs> you see, now I've just slandered a man, and I guarantee you, right, he's he's going to have to deal with that for, for you know because I've just said it, and people are morons or believe anything you say. So there you go. In Medias We Trust. $10, there you go. Are we back off again? 
no, no, we're still alive. I'm just. I'm just can't tell. Strong it, back. I, I didn't realize that a ten dollar donation made your cock bigger. This is like having a conversation with a narcoleptic. Like you, you start having, you start talking to them, and then you realize they fell asleep fucking five minutes ago. Wait, what? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, your uh, fourth year anniversary here on YouTube is coming up, or has has actually just recently Ooh, passed. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Jeez, fuck! <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm being I'm being called a narcoleptic because your Skype doesn't work. This is this is fuck all you, fucking racist bastard. I, I mean, wait, yeah, I'm swearing. Sorry. Um, so, Zulu, how's it going? All right, yeah, <laughs> as well as it can be. Yeah, that's, that's cool. How's the weather? Shite. That's good to know. <laughs> it's absolutely pissing it down. It's a river outside my window right now. Who is on, what? fuck, who is Aaron? the tech guy we hired for this? Can we have him sacked and flogged in the street? You know, can we have donate money to have him beaten? Right? This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, somebody opened a separate fucking fund for that. Eh? It's hilarious. I've never known electricity to be this unreliable. Fucking Italians, <laughs> they invented it. You know what I mean? They never get sea things through. <laughs> it's kind of like an Alfa Romero. It's great when it works, but. Uh... As there's a comedian called Al Murray who does a great bit about uh, the Italians, about how they never see anything through. It's like it's like you know Venice is flooded because no one bothered calling a plumber, and like you know, and a pizza is just a pizza is just a Cornish pasty that someone ain't shut yet. <laughs> Nineteen forty-two, they folded early. We never forget that. <laughs> All right, before we get fucking hate mail from Nazis. Um, I was, yeah, I was talking about you. Hate mail from the Nazis, you want. You want hate mail from the Nazis, it's the, you know, because you don't want them to like you, do you? So. Yeah, good point. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, fuck, okay, like, quit distracting me! I'm trying to get to this point here, okay? Fourth year anniversary, it's all about you, okay, go. Hello? What's that? Hi. What's going on? Fourth year anniversary, your YouTube. Am I four, yes, I've been yes, on YouTube go. four years. Four, four. Four years. I don't know if that's an achievement or something to be ashamed ashamed of. Because it's not really a big deal. All I'm saying is I have voluntarily made videos of myself talking for four years, which really isn't sort of something you would want to boast about. You know, no matter how many YouTube subscribers you ever get, it will never be a, enough to sort of get you laid in a bar. This is the one fact about it. You can have, you can have as many subs as you want. It's never going to impress anyone. So but yeah, I've been on it for four years now, and um, yeah, it's been all right. Isn't it? yeah. So you mean to tell me that you've never actually gone up to a chick and been like, "Hey, I'm a YouTube celebrity. You should do me." We just lost him again. I give up on life. Oh, well, here he is. Uh, yippee. My question kind of like lost its merit, you know, it's, it's like telling jokes in front of a blank auditorium. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hi ah. again. How's it going? Oh, hello, hello, hello. How are you? It's been, it's been minutes since we spoke. <laughs> no kidding. Fuck, I've missed your comedy. I've done, I've done an encore before, but this is like 17 encores we've done so far. This is like, this is like a fucking James Brown concert. I've got to keep going on with my coat cape on and sort of going, no more, I can't go on. Alright, hey, Coughlin, if you were given any superpower, what would it be? Superpower? Um... I'd like to be invisible, um, just so, first of all, I could go out naked, um, cause, just because I'm lazy and I don't like having to put clothes on in the morning, but I'd, like, I'd, go, to, like, I'd go to like nightclub and whisper in people's ears, just to drive them fucking mental and stuff, I, I, there's probably a lot of, I, I don't know, because a lot of superpowers have got like problems with it, because you're supposed to use them responsibly, ain't you? And I don't know how... Who the hell sets down that guideline? You don't have to yeah. use them responsibly. 
Well, you know, you just, I think some of it, the thing is, Batman should, because Batman isn't a superhero. He's just a fucking rich bloke with a cave. That's all he is. He's got, he hasn't got any superpowers. He's just a, a mental case with a fucking lot of money who wanted to fight crime, and instead of joining the police force like a normal person would do, he thought, I'm going to wear a rubber bat suit, have a giant motorcycle, and keep a, a boy called Robin in the cellar. That's, you know, he should do. <laughs> Yeah, he's essentially a deal with just massive OCD, but we've lost Copeland again, haven't we? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Oh my god. This must be the most dropped calls ever. <laughs> how, how am I supposed to raise more fucking money than Big Lundy here? Because I, I, I was under the assumption that he raised like the, the biggest sum there, and, and there's like this competition going, and essentially 50% of the time that Coughlin and I have been talking, well, more or less, you know, 95% of the time that Coughlin's been talking, has been dropped. This is bullshit. I can't win like this, man. We, uh, I can't do good for the homeless if I got no air time. What? Even the homeless, man, they can't. They don't. They don't have homes. They don't have fucking webcams. They can't. They they can't log on to Blog TV. They can't see this. And meanwhile, they're like sitting in the streets, all pissed off and shit, at like a fucking, you know, a a a, a bar craft, and they're all like, I, I that. Have, I've been told to mention the donations, but I've got a better idea. Right, I'm going to blackmail the audience into right. If any, if you don't donate money now, I will get my mate Silver to make. A fake porn site of Thunderfuck, and I will tell him you fucking made it, right? And then you can put up with his bullshit. So, <laughs> so I will do that. Don't think I won't do it. I've got lots of free time that I don't intend to use productively. So, are you gonna? Do, we're gonna do that. <laughs> so, do it now, or you're in trouble. I've never heard greater motivation in my entire yeah. life. Okay, um, I know I moving I on. Mention, I know I said I wouldn't mention Thunderfoot, but I just, I could, also all I could think of at that moment was to, was to, like, threaten him, give him money, you bastards, right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, I'm sort of doing I, the I, I'd Gildorf. be surprised if his lackeys aren't here already. I'm doing the Bob Gildoff thing, you know, give me your fucking money now. So if his lackeys are, you know what, it's, it's fine, because, you know, have you seen some of the handwriting he's... Devoted subscribers have, you know, they're insulting me, but I can't tell. Do you know what I mean? They're just it's hard to fuck. So, so it, forget it. You know, it doesn't matter. All fanboys are the same, regardless of who they follow. Just some people got more than others. You know? I'm not yeah. on two. Thunderfoot, Justin Bieber, they're all the same. Anywho, yeah, exactly. briefs or boxers? Um, boxers, but I don't know. I like, um, yeah, I'd say boxers, but it's not not fitting, you know. And I don't like anything like fancy. I don't think I think it's wrong to spend more than two quid on a, on a, on a pair of underpants because you know it's going to get covered in shit. So what's the point in having another guy's name on my underwear? It wasn't cool to have your name on your underwear when I was growing up. So why is it cool to have another geezer's name on your underwear when you grow up? It makes no sense. Well, and also the advertising for those Calvin boxes are completely unrealistic. Uh, <laughs> Great, we've dropped him again. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> wow. Just got to roll with it now, I think. Um, okay, yeah. No, just um, donate to everyone. You, doing mid-conversation, it'd be one thing if it was just you and I talking, right? Then we could just yeah. fucking roll it, but like now we yeah. got to wait for him to come back. It creates this awkwardness. Now I'm, I am so pissed. Like, what? what is doing this? Yeah, is, I have no idea. Storm, or is it me? Is it me? Is it because I'm white? Oh, it's just you on the screen now. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, check this out. I can do tricks. There we go. Donate money. <laughs> Donate money. Oh, yeah. See? I can carry the show. For the whole two seconds that Coughlin's gone. Alright, wicked. Yeah, how predictable is it that I'm going to find some creationist video talking about how ridiculous atheists are and that little segment of me doing that dance will be the, the highlight of how ridiculous we in fact are. Yeah. I can't wait. I hope somebody does that. In fact, I hope I just gave somebody an idea. Wink. Yeah, you've become a meme all of a sudden. Oh, oh fuck. Wouldn't that be pimp? I hope I become a meme. I would so exploit that and make money from it. And then donate it to the homeless. 
Right, right. Power's back. We've got three minutes before it cuts out. And quick, ask questions now. We'll talk <laughs> I'm the micro machines man. We're going to do this really quickly, right? Um, All right, yeah. Pretty, so you talk about another much, man. This is pretty much how my sex life works. You know, a couple of minutes and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm out of it. I, mean, you, I, might be, I might be ready to go in a few minutes' time. you got to wait, you know. Ah, uh, sex life, stop. yes. Phil, stop all cool the time. Fucking say stuff now. <laughs> Hey, so so uh, uh, you were talking about your sex life. So uh, speaking of comedy, how is your stand up? Oh, it's going well. It's going a lot better now. I start. I started again uh, a year ago. I took a year off um, because I was. I didn't feel I was funny. That happens sometimes. I know it sounds crazy, but you're thinking you're you're a nutter. Why would you think something as stupid as that? But uh, but you know, you just you just sometimes you lose your confidence in it. I started in 2001, so I've been going for like nine years, and I sort of like needed a break. Um, and yeah, it's going well. I've, I've done. I've got my Edinburgh show coming up in August. I've got. I've done a couple of previews and runs with that. And it's uh, yeah, it's just people are laughing, which is always good. And um, that's it, really. I mean, there's just there's a. It's it, that's going well. Uh, that's cool. Like, uh, you got any plans to like release DVDs and sell them on the internet? Like, um, no. I don't know. There's a reason I won't release a DVD out. Um, it's because the audience I have predominantly are on the internet, which means they already know how to get a copy of it if you release it on DVD with a paying for it. So I'm not going to fucking waste my time doing it. So what I've done before is I've offered up a free download of the show and then put a PayPal link and give people the option to pay. Because if I just charge 15 quid for a DVD, like 10 people will buy it, they'll put it on BitTorrent and then I'm out a shitload of money from having the fucking things printed up. So. I, uh, I don't bother with that. You know, if I was, if I had an audience that was a bit more retarded, like, you know, like a Michael, Michael McIntyre audience or Paddy McGuinness, I would probably, you know, if Dane Cook was, you know, a, you know, was he can release a DVD because his audience are just, then they're, they're not aware of the, the fact that they're at his show, he shows they're not really too sure what's going on in the world. So, I can, I can, I can't deal with that. You know? And people, people on the internet, just for some reason, people online resent you ever, ever having the gall to ask them to pay for anything ever. If you so much as like suggest they give you five p for you know for, for anything, they're just they're in shock that you've oh. you know, insulted them. You know, like the amazing atheists. Well, in all fairness, there's lots of YouTubers who've done it. I mean, you, there's you know, you know, if uh, TJ has done it, you've got you know, Pat Condell sells books. Pat Condell's got a book. I'm one of the few dozen people who have bought and read Pat Condell's book. And the thing about it is Pat Condell's videos are basically the same video over again you know, in a row. Right? He does the same video. He just changes a few words here and replaces them in there. And he basically released this book. It's 300 pages. It could just be a pamphlet, right? Well, uh, just a piece of paper with writing on both sides and PTO. And you just turn it 300 times and you've basically read... You know, read his book. It's just transcripts of his videos. That's all it is, and it's a fucking tenor to read transcripts of a video you could watch online. And it's like, it's just ridiculous about it. You know, people just, uh, I don't know when people are selling stuff, but if you sell something that you can do, you know what I mean? There's like too many people like try to write books and put them on Lulu or something like that or sell them. And it's like, you know, you're not a writer. I don't want to read something you've written. You know? I don't care what Brett Keane has got, what stories he's got to tell. I've read, heard enough of them online, you know. <laughs> so. All right. Um, have you ever contacted the Westboro Baptist Church or the Church of Scientology? I actually, not Scientology, um, mainly because I'm not famous enough that people won't notice if I vanish. And um, uh, so I don't want really, to, I'm not really bothered with them, to be honest. And Westboro Baptist Church, about... Back in 2010, late 2010, I was gonna. I thought I would for a last contact them to see if I could get Shirley Phelps run for an interview. And uh, she, she, in, to her credit, um, I'll say this about the West Brom Baptist Church: there's not much positive you can say, um, other than they will die one day. But the other thing, the only thing you can say is she. Um, they're very accessible and they are willing to talk to you. They don't like run away and avoid you. And um, I had a few email back and forths with her, and she wasn't bothered. She you know, didn't care who I was. Obviously, she doesn't care. Because she knows I'm going to hell forever, so we can sort of like get on with that on that basis. So she, she's not a problem. Um, it didn't end up going ahead because I honestly don't couldn't think of a way to make the interview work that would be more interesting. Um, 
Uh, but the one thing that's funny is um, they know she knows her Bible so fucking. She did something that no Christian has ever done to me in in, in my life because uh, it was around December time, and I had a few email back and forth with her, and I sent her an email. It was my last one in this correspondence, and I said, "Oh, Merry Christmas." And she wrote back saying, Christmas is a pagan holiday. We do not believe in that because Satan is the And I'm like, Jesus fucking right. I'm getting lectured in, in an email and chastised for saying happy Christmas to someone. And um, so I thought that was quite funny. But um, what I was going to do, I was going to talk to her. I was going to get her on for an interview. And my plan was to completely to talk about absolute irrelevant bollocks for an hour. It, 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 so, so how have you been? You know, you, 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 you had done lately? How are the kids? So pretty much what, what we're you, doing here. Yeah, because basically everyone's used to seeing Shirley Phelps Rope shout at people. And as far as I'm concerned, she's, she thinks I'm going to hell. I don't. You know, we're both pretty firm about that. We don't Neither of us care what the other one thinks. She doesn't care if I go to hell. I don't care if it's not there. So why don't we just forget about that and move on? You know what I mean? I'm comfortable with it. So let's just have a chat. And I was going to just sort of see how people reacted to us having like a conversation about the weather. You know, what, 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 what's your take? What's your favourite TV show? Right? Did you, you know? Did you? Can you remember your first bite or something like that? Just stuff that's got nothing to do with religion. Because who gives this? The Westboro Baptist Church are the best. Um, they've got the best PR and marketing of any religion out there because there there's only 80 members and yet everyone's fucking heard of them. Everyone. I mean, you go around the world, like everyone's heard of the Westboro Baptist Church, and there's 80 people. We shouldn't care what these people think. It's not a problem. You know, 80 people in a compound. Who, you know, who think everyone's going to hell and that God's an arsehole, they're, they're not a problem. You know, I don't think that's a bigger problem as it's made out to be. When they protest funerals, it's nasty. Um, but you can't do anything about that, unfortunately, because they're, they're rights to free speech, which they have. You know, it's like we have it over here with, like, um, you, get the old, you get the old Muslim nutter, like these little Muslim groups, who, you know, these nutters who think that they're actually going to successfully ban bacon and sex in these countries. And... Um, <laughs> This is what I like. I, I, I do, that's my only argument against people who think that Muslims are going to take over. I'm like, will you give up bacon? No. Will you give up sex? No. Will you give up beer? No. Well, fuck off. They're not going to take over. Those three. <laughs> bacon is bacon is a deal breaker for most people on anything, right? But you chuck beer and wanking into that, and fuck it, it's going to happen, right? So just just you know, get get used to it. But um, but yeah, they hold these. But they always look at these nutters and hold them up as the norm, and they're not. You know what I mean? They're not the norm at all. But we always have to, we, you know, we need to focus on the, but we don't need to sort of make out that they're the, they're everywhere, because they're not, you know. Well, okay, hypothetically, let's assume that the Westboro Baptist Church converts every single person in the entire world. So yep. now everybody is, in fact, a member. Um, what do you think they would do, considering they'd have no, no one or no reason to bitch? Well, the thing is... There is a thing about, about any sort of ideology, right? People always talk about the... Every, every ideology has got a violent, you know, um, past to it in some way. You know, every political ideology, every religion. But the thing is, the only reason it's violent is because it's got opposing ideologies. Now, if you had a religion that everyone in the world followed exactly, we've got nothing to fight about then. You know what I mean? That's the fucking... That's the irony of it, is that if everyone believes the same religion... So when a Christian tells you... You know, if we all believed in Christianity, the world would be a peaceful place. They're actually probably right, because if we all believed the exact same version, well, what are we going to argue about? You know what I mean? What are we going to sit there and talk about? Yeah. But unfortunately, you know, human beings are not as simple as that. You know, we're, we're not, it's not possible for us to think exactly the same as each other, because we're designed to sort of be competitive and try and sort of you know, take each other on in that sense. That's just our, our crude DNA and our, our, um, our evolution taking us over. So we're going to do, I mean, 99% of everything that most people believe is bollocks, you know, I mean, that includes me. You know, I mean, 99% of everything that, you know, the greatest minds in the world believe is bollocks. Look at Isaac Newton, you know, he believed in alchemy and fucking creationism and shit. He, you know, he believed in some nutty shit, and so, but you, that's not always a problem. It's like you can believe in nutty shit and still be intelligent on, on certain things. And you can believe in nutty shit and it not be a problem because you don't, you're not a, a wanker about it. You know, you can believe anything you want as far as I'm concerned, as long as you're... You don't, you know, you don't take it too seriously and, and use it to uh, pick on other people. No, that's actually true. Now, now that I get a minute here, I just want, wanted to point out that Louis Pascal. You know, everybody knows about Pascal's wager. You yeah. know, everybody here in the atheist community and whatnot. But like his contribute, uh, he contributed a lot to like fluid measurements and things like that. Yeah. Like he was, he was an awesome scientist. So yeah, he's 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 not yeah. a complete dickhead too. Um, 
But then you Ooh. see people these days, you see people these days having a go at people like um, Francis Collins, you know, because he's an evan evangelical Christian. You know, but it's like, to me, it's like, well, who gives a shit? He, 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 his, his idea of God is whatever science says, God wanted it to be like that. Right? That, to me, is like, fine, we can, we, you can have that. You know what I mean? Let's, you know, I'm fine with him believing that. You know what I mean? Because as long as you, if people believe this, you know, the same things as far as the natural world goes, like a Christian who is like a liberal is a Christian I can get on with because I'm a liberal too. You know what I mean? So I, I, it does, the reason why they're liberal is different to the reason why I'm liberal, but we're both liberal, so that's really all that really needs to matter at that point. Yeah, i got to say that my, my, the most fascinating conversations I have are with uh, Christians or Catholics. Yeah. I know even Catholics are Christians or whatever, but, yeah. um, but like, you know, ones that accept evolution and uh, accept the universe, in fact, know more about it than even I do. And yet they still believe in God, like, and, and to sort of get into questions that they don't instantaneously get offended at is, you know, those are, they're mind-numbingly awesome so conversations. The, the, the I'd love problem, to share a bottle of scotch and do it, you know? The, the whole problem with being a human being is you know what it's like to be alive. No human being knows what it's like to be dead. So all you ever know in your life is existence. So the idea of being dead and not, and, you know, not existing is is all is impossible for you to comprehend or grasp in any way. You can't imagine what it's like to not have an imagination. So it it becomes to the point of like, and also our world works in a sense that we we create things, we make things for other things, and we create we we build houses, we make computers, you know, animals make things, and it all comes stems down in like a sort of order. So because we feel that we're at the top, because we're probably you know say the most intelligent and we're the most adaptable, we we're sitting here going, well, what's above us? If it's nothing then we're kind of fucking in charge here, and if, if we're fucked, if we're, if we're the ones in charge, we're sort of waiting for the landlord to turn up to give us our fucking deposit back, whilst we're arguing over how, the, how, we, how we're supposed to be sort of running his gas. And that's, where this, that's sort of where the whole, whole concept of God for me comes from. It's just, it, it's, like, it's, our, it's like, well, what's above us? It can't end here, do you know what I mean? And oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, primitive humans, they, they, there was a whole bunch of shit they didn't understand, so it's yeah. like, well, since we don't have science yet to explain this, yeah. let's say, okay, it's just some magical dude. And, and what's funny is, like, it erupted independently in several different regions of the world. It's, it's, it's pretty obvious yeah. that our, our psyche is attuned to... Well, it's like, it's yeah. like you get these people, I mean, you get, like, the, that fucking stupid zeitgeist. Who, who created this half hour? Who in half an hour explained two, two, three thousand years of um, of history of religion by saying that it was obviously a conspiracy to make everyone. And it's not. It's just the fact. The reason all these, you know, these um, gods and these messiahs and all these characters throughout history had the same sort of qualities is because if you're going to create a person who's more than human, who's you know a god like character, they're going to have certain things, and those things are going to be things humans can't do. So things like miracles, you know, bringing people back to life, making blood. These are all things that make sense, like superpowers that you would give to someone. And um, so you end up with, like, these stories that are, are all very similar. But, you know, it's just people trying to you know, think on their feet with a lot of it, you know. But, I mean, the thing is these days, what you've got to be careful is, is that there's a, there's a tendency amongst people, um, particularly on YouTube, um, to fetishize science to the point where we've got it all figured out. And it's like, even though, you know, Things like I mean, things like homeopathy and acupuncture—they're they're bollocks, right? You know, completely not. You know, sort of, but let's not, you know, sit here and think. You know, hundred years ago, they probably thought they've got it all figured out now because it all makes sense at that moment, you know. And there's a problem. You know, it's like don't don't think that we, you know, we have we probably there's probably nine hundred million billion percent more things to figure out than we've already got. You know, the universe is too big for us to even cover a a, a nano percent of it in our existence. So. Who, who fucking knows? You know what I mean? Just don't worry about well, it. Is the fucking idea? Well, that, uh, there's something that actually gets me. homeopathy. Everybody is quick to dismiss it and say it's absolute bollocks. And fair enough. I agree. Scientifically, it is bullshit. However, it acts upon something that is scientifically proven, which is the placebo effect. Yeah, but the thing about placebo, it just makes you feel better. It doesn't make you better. But you know what I mean? It's the thing with what else That's, do you need? It's like, Sex makes you feel better. I'm good with that. But I mean, it's things like praying. I mean, praying actually has been shown. If you if you you're looking for something or you're panicking and you pray, you take a deep breath, you close your eyes, you take it, you're relaxing and you think clearer, and then you're much more. And that's what it is. And people put that down to them being sort of like looked after. But it's not. They just they were just concentrating. They were thinking, you know, uh, clearer. They were taking their time and they figured it out. You know what I mean? 
And that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, so absolutely. Well, again, a placebo effect, and that's and that's cool if that works for them. Yeah. You know, I mean, try to try to it's, feed it's, that as, back. Spread as it useless as, as things, as useless as things that prayer, even these things that like people always go on about. You know, these things like prayer and all that, they're useless. Yes, but the thing is, if they are that useless, if there's no use to them, then we wouldn't do them. There's obviously some reason little things like this stick around. You know, and even though even if the basis of it is nonsense, there's obviously some benefit to it. And uh, it doesn't mean it's right or justifiable to do it, you know, because that's, that's down to each, each individual. But at the end of the day, these, these things exist for a reason because they, they work for people, you know. And, um, yeah. that's, and, and ultimately, most human beings, all they care about is being happy and getting comfortable. They don't give a shit about what the universe is and where it came from and did we evolve from this and where, what's that. And it's like, they don't give a shit. They just want to get through their lives without being fucking assholes and, you know, for having to fucking end up living, you know being fucked over and then that skin that's all they want you know what i mean we're quite simple yeah. Yeah. all right um granted we're running up on our hour here so uh before we've only done about last, 12 minutes of a show though in all fairness yeah yeah in all fairness yeah if you add all the uh independent fucking segments together the independent um, well, I, segments. I, I, <laughs> that's such uh, a great uh, term for a power cut <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, yeah it, it'll be interesting to actually watch the fucking uh, the review of the live feed. Eh? It's like, yeah, fast forward, fast forward, just get to the last three fucking minutes of the show where they actually go on for. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, I just wanted to take this last opportunity to to beg and plead. I'm not going to go yes. down on my hands and knees again. I well, I probably will when I'm actually done. But guys, please donate. I can't actually stress enough how important it is that you know. Us, these insignificant fucking heathen atheists, actually make a name for ourselves by by showing the world that we can do good. Like, please, sh you know, if you've ever ever been told you're immoral because you're an atheist, donate something. I this was is the never, whole point of what we're doing here. I've never been told I was immoral because I was an atheist. It was it was the drugs and the prostitution that I was involved in that caused that. But. You know, I'm probably the worst advert for you know proving that atheists can be moral. You could have had on it. You should have had someone a bit more, a bit more ethical. But, well, you know, I, I guess technically we should define morality then. Okay, I don't think, I don't think I it's mean, me. Though. I don't find that bad. Yeah, I, I mean, don't think I don't find that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know that fell under immoral. Perhaps I should redefine the term for myself. Fuck it. Okay. Anyway. Okay, we'll move on to the last question, and this is one that I find juicy. I really actually want to know. What okay. is the YouTuber that you absolutely fucking hate the most? Who is the one person that you can't stand? What's the one person that makes you fucking cringe when you see a video by them? I, I'm, this is going to shock you, because I know there's already names flying through. The I'm going to say it's actually someone like Martin J. Willett is the guy I'm going to name, who is basically, he's... The reason I don't like him, he is... People would probably think I'd say someone like Pat Condell. I don't hate Pat Condell. Um, I don't like him. But all he is, he's basically taking his... Pat Condell is just a guy taking his last shot at getting some semblance of, 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 of some legacy at doing something. He's, you know, he's got no interest in debate or discussion or reality. He just wants to be popular for one in his fucking life. Now, Martin J. Willett is basically Pat Condell. You know Jabba the Hutt had that little geezer sitting on his shoulder? This is Martin J. Willett, right? Except he's fatter than Jabba the Hutt. And I, there's one thing I could, Pat Condell was, in my opinion, a bigoted demagogue and a right-wing nationalist, but he's an independently, he's an independent-minded, uh, you know, right-wing demagogue and uh, fear-mongering nationalist. Whereas Martin J. Willett is the guy who sits there sucking on people like Pat Condell's balls and taking in everything that, and they won't hear a bad word said about them. And it's like, if you're going to be a prick, be a prick on your own. Don't be a, fo don't be a prick who follows someone who's a prick. You know, it's like, it's like that, there's that scene in Train Spotting where he's talking about it's shite being Scottish because you know, the English are just wankers whereas the Scottish were colonised by wankers. Don't be a wanker who follows another wanker. That's it. And they're the, they're the worst people for me. The ones who choose to like, fo who choose to be dicks because they're following another dick, you know. Well said, so I'm sure we can all think of an example. There's, I think Plato couldn't have said it better, like, really, than that, you know. All right. Well, I guess uh, Zulu wrap us up. In a, I did, this, last this has been, this last hour has been real, and I will look back on it as a period of my life. Um, <laughs> I like. No, thank you very much for letting me take part. I hope it all. I hope it made sense what you heard of it. But um, Gosling, no. 
honestly, it has been an absolute honor having you here. Thank you for showing up. No, and thank you for showing support, man. No, no thank you very much. I hope it all goes well. I'm going to go to bed now. I don't want to be sick. Um, <laughs> I'm sure it had nothing to do it's with It's nothing your, to do with the show. I just have been yeah. sick. <laughs> Okay. I've drunk two cans of Pepsi whilst I've been doing this show, and I'm full of gas and, uh, and sugar. And uh, I'm going to go and belch for an hour just to let it all out. Okay. That's... All right. Well, best of luck there, buddy. There you go.